everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Welcome to the playlist of Adobe Premiere 2022. In these next few episodes, I'm going to be going over some of the project settings and uh, the preferences. And this one specifically going over the project settings. Now, if you go up to File and you go down to Project Settings, it's going to show you project settings for this specific project that we've opened up here. So if you go over and we can just click on General or bring open this tab here that actually has all three of those items that you just saw there when I went to File and went to Project Settings. It has General, uh, under this Project Settings drop down here, you have General, Scratch This, and, and Ingest Settings, and you have them all right here on this tab. Once you hit general, it'll just open them up and you have all three of them right here. All right, so it is for this specific project right here. So all these settings are going to be specifically uh, per project. If you change those settings on a different project, they will have different settings uh, based on your project settings. So here we go, so general, general tab here at the very top, you wanna to usually make sure that, you're, that you do not have Mercury playback engine software only check mark. That means it's not using your video card to accelerate uh, your playback and accelerate effects and other things as well. So you want to make sure this is on, I'm, I'm on, the, on the Mac right now, you're going to do, you do a Mercury playback GPU acceleration, uh, but you're going to do the GPA acceleration on the PC as well. There should only be two options in there, and you're going to do the GPU acceleration. If this is grayed out, that usually means you need to update your video drivers. And if you're on a PC, Mac, Macs usually do that automatically. If you're on a PC, you can go to, and if you have a G, if you have a an NVIDIA supported card, you can go to something like GeForce Experience, download that software and it detects automatically if you if your drivers are out of date. That's a nice little software uh, called GeForce Experience uh, for the PC. But like I said, the Mac it updates automatically, so you usually don't have to worry about that. Some other things down here are pretty standard. I'll usually leave these the same uh, down here, but that is one important thing right there. Scratch disks. Uh, this is kind of an antiquated item right here. This is usually if you're uh, if 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 you are capturing footage from a tape, and sometimes you have to do that. But this is where you go, and if you are capturing stuff from a tape through a FireWire or through some other capturing device, you can go in here and tell it where to send the footage and your audio that it captures, that it captures, and you, and you can tell it what hard drive and what folder to put it into. Ninja settings. I will have a special episode just particularly for this. When you import footage uh, for ingest, basically what that is is. It this window is for a couple different reasons here. One is for uh, basically ingesting and creating proxies. I will have future episodes on this as it gets a little complex, so I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. The basic feature here is to ingest, or basically that means uh, bring your footage into the project from your hard drive. And one thing you can do is you can tell it to copy. When you if, Say you have a card that you just shot some media on and uh, and you haven't had the chance to transfer it to your hard drive yet. But say you've got it on the SD card that you just shot it on. You can plug that into your machine, import it directly from the SD card. Now if you do have this ingest check marked here and you have it on copy, copy is the basic is, uh, uh, feature here. But th it does have all these different types of features here. Uh, transcode, create proxies, copy and create proxies. I will have a future episode on that. But basically, you can uh, if you have an SD card that you just shot some media on, you plug it into your computer and you don't have time to transfer it over to your hard drive, you just want to start editing it, you can import it directly from the SD card. But you can tell it after you import it, you can just start editing it. But while you're in the background, what it starts doing is it starts copying it to the location where and the default is same as project to, to a folder where your project file is so then while you're editing say this this finishes and then uh, and then it will start editing the footage from your hard drive rather from the SD card then when you're done you can uh, uh, take out your SD card and now your media is on your hard drive on your computer and you can keep editing it so so that's basically what these three tabs do in here those are the more important features on those three tabs on the next episode we will start getting into Premiere Pro preferences